All right, give me just one minute and we'll get started. All right, we're live now. Uh, All right, Namaste everyone. Welcome to Hindi University. Uh, really excited to have all of you this Sunday. Um, as you know, my name is Ashutosh and we meet every Sunday 8 a.m. US Pacific time, which is time on the west coast of the US to learn about the Hindi language. Um, for those of you who are completely new to Hindi University, you can learn more about us um, by going to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Hindi University. Uh, we also have our website, which is hindiuniversity.org, where you can get all the information about um, how to join our Sunday classes, you know, how to join the regular practice sessions we have throughout the, uh, throughout the week, uh, the schedule for the practice sessions, um, as well as the books that we've been following, the resources. Um, so you can definitely get all the information there. And I highly recommend you bookmark uh, the page that we have, hindiuniversity.org, where we will continue to update more and more information. Uh, so here is a little bit about Hindi University because a lot of people, they watch the video for the first time. Uh, they want to know a little bit more. So this is like a quick summary for you. Um, uh, if you're interested in joining the Sunday classes, uh, you can join the Sunday classes using the Zoom link. And uh, if you want to join the community, we have both the, the WhatsApp group as well as the Discord channel uh, to join it. Uh, typically, we want to know you a little bit before you are enrolled into all the um, the the private uh, you know WhatsApp group as well as the tele, uh, you know Discord. So definitely enroll using this uh, you know WhatsApp, and then we'll let you in in the system. Okay. So today's topic, as I told you, like the book the books that we've been following is uh, there are two primary books. First one is uh, um, you know uh, Richard Delacy and Sudha Joshi's Elementary Hindi book that we've been following. And the second one is Bingu learns Hindi. Okay, uh, Richard Dilesi is also a Hindi professor at the Harvard University. And uh, right now we are on chapter 18 of that book. Okay, and it's uh, today we'll be covering a very interesting topic. It's uh, some of you have already gone through it, which is asking and telling time in Hindi. Okay, asking or telling time in Hindi. It's a very useful topic for a day-to-day -day conversation, you know, and and any kind of scenarios so you know you'll definitely find it useful um, and uh, by the end of this class my goal is that you'll be familiar with all the time related vocabulary and you'll be able to ask and tell time to to your friends and, and family whoever you're speaking with okay so with that in mind uh, the very basic thing and I'm going to give you some vocabulary some of you requested that I write in Devanagari as well so here it is the very first thing you want to know is the, the very important word called bhajana okay bhajana is the used as a verb which is which means to strike to strike okay and the very first sentence that you would come across is that you see on my screen on the slide is uh you know what time is it okay what time is it that's what you would typically ask in english okay um in hindi the underlying verb that you'll be using is called bhajana okay bhajana and the first thing you'll say is kitne baje hai? Okay, kitne baje hain, um, basically where kitna is how much and bajana is used as a word which is uh, to strike. Okay, you can also say kya baja hai. Okay, kya baja hai which is literal translation of what time is it. Uh, Hindi speakers will all, you know, you will often see them that they're using English words in Hindi which you will see in the third uh, sentence which is time kya hua hai. Okay, so all of them are uh, uh, an appropriate way of asking you someone like what time is it? Okay. So, kitne baje hai, kya baje hai, or time kya hua hai, okay. So, you know, you, you may have to memorize it or practice a little bit. Um, I'm going to definitely ask, you know, and quiz you guys so that you guys remember this one. Okay, any questions on this one? Uh, you know, initially, I'm going to go through the slide and then we'll do the whiteboarding session, but I want to at least Clarify some high level pointers for you. Uh, any questions, anyone? Feel free to unmute yourself and ask before we move on. Okay, good. All right. The second thing is like, I do expect you to know some vocabulary and there will be a whiteboarding session on all of them. Um, 
which is like the time you will see is like often is like you know it's in the uh, in the sequence basically where like you know four o'clock or four fifteen or four thirty or four forty five okay um, I want to, you to write down some uh, vocabulary words how do you say it and how do you write it in Hindi okay the first one is simply baja hai like so if it is two o'clock you know it's do baje hai okay but it's two fifteen and we'll go over it in detail, but I want to, you to see the table. It's called Sava. This part is called Sava. Sava. And 30, this part is called Sadhe. Okay, Sadhe. We'll practice speaking it as well. And this piece is called Pone. Pone. It's like, for example, if it is 145, it's Pone Do Baje Hain. Okay. Um, We'll go over all of it, okay? But right now, this is just like a, a quick, you know, um, time-related vocabulary for you, uh, for everyone. So at least you guys remember what are the common, commonly used vocabulary words when it comes to time, okay? Um, you don't have to memorize it right away, but this is just like as you're preparing for it again, uh, this is for your reference, okay? So with that being mind, I'm going to stop sharing it and now we'll focus just on the, the whiteboarding. Any questions, anyone, so far? Good, right. So let's get started. So we'll start with a very simple case, which is like, you know, um, when it is just the, the time which is at the, uh, so if it is a simple one o'clock case, okay, as I said, the vocabulary word you will use is baja. I expect you to know the, the, the numbers, so you will simply say Ek Baja Hai. So we'll start with simple and then we'll make it complicated. Ek Baja Hai. Um, when it is one and you will always use the singular, it becomes Ek Baja Hai. Okay, if it is two o'clock, you'll say Do Baje Hai. Okay, Do Baje Hai. Ek Baja Hai, Do Baje Hai. If it is three, Jaggi ji, it will be? Teen baje hai. So it's, I write it as teen, but it's teen. Teen baje hai. Okay. So, so on so forth, you can continue to try it out. And then if it is uh, 12, if it is 12, then it will become? Nee. Baja. Baja. Very good. It will become Baja. Bar baje hai. Okay, and if you don't know the numbers, you can definitely use the 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 formula, which is you know twelve ko Hindi mein kya kehte hai, and then the person will say bara kehte hai. Okay, um, uh, Vena ji, you want to write out if it is nine o'clock, then it will be. No baje hai. No baje hai. No baje hai. So, so far, so so good. There is no uh, complication in it. Any questions, anyone? So, this is think of it as your case number one. Good. Yes. So we'll, a question. Go for it. If there is a question. Yeah. If you want to say midnight or terms like twelve o'clock midnight or twelve noon, I mean, are yes. there special terms? Yeah, so so what you do is you start using the, the, the time of the day verb. If it is like the, um, what I was showing you, if it is basically, so if it is, you know, time of the day, what you'll do is, let me share my screen. So you will say, do pehar ke bara baje hai. So do pehar is afternoon. It's the afternoon, like 12 o'clock of the afternoon. Okay. So basically, you're asking what if it is a.m. and p.m. That's what you're asking a.m. and p.m. Because seven o'clock can be seven a.m. or it can be seven p.m. Okay. So if it is seven a.m., you will say subah ke saat baje hai. Okay. Subah is morning. K is your post position of subah ke saat baje hai. If it is of the evening, you will say Sham ke saat baje hai. Okay, Delia ji, if it is 
uh, 9 p.m. How will you say it? Rat ke no bache hai. And if it is uh, 6 a.m., how will you say that, uh, Meeta ji? 6 a.m. Um, chabaje, um, sorry, uh, subah ke uh, chabaje hai. Very good, right? Uh, if it is um, 11 p.m., how would you say that? 11 p.m., Elizabeth ji, 11 p.m. Eleven is Gyarah. Okay, I'll tell you the word. Uh, so, rat, rat ki, um, and Golsi. Gyarah. I didn't hear. It's Gyarah. 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 Okay. Yeah, very good. Rat ki, Kya, Rah, Bajeh hai. Very good. Rat ke gyara baje. Very good. Amazing. Okay. Rat ke gyara baje hai. And if it is um, um, evening, 6 p.m. Uh, Austin ji, how will you say? 6 p.m. Sham ke chai baje hai. Sham ke chai baje hai. Okay. Awesome. Uh, good, good questions. Anyone else? Fine. So we'll move on to case number two. Okay. Um, I'm going to mute everyone again so that way you know there's no background noise. So now we'll move on to uh, the 15 part. Same thing. So now we'll move on to case number two, which is same thing we'll, we'll have, but let's say if the time is 1 15, uh, 2 15, 3 15, 4 15, and so on and so forth. Okay. Right now, I'm just doing it neutral, which is regardless of AM and PM. If you know this part, uh, just like before, you can put Subay Ke or Sham Ke, and that way you don't have to worry about it, right? So now, whenever it is 1.15, you typically don't use the word, you know, you know, you can just say Sava, Sava Baja Hai, okay? Sava really means one fourth. That's what Sava means, okay? Sava, one fourth and this is like one fourth of the hour, so it becomes sava baja hai. You know, because it's fifteen, sava is fifteen. You know, it, you don't have to really put sava ek baje hai or sava ek baja hai. So you just say sava baja hai. But typically, you will see Hindi speakers they end up using sava, you know, ek baja hai as well. The next one, just like this, it will become. So the word is this thing comes first in English. You will say one fifteen. In Hindi, you know, you typically you would say this part first. So it's 15 after 2. So it's Sava. Let's see. Sheila ji, it will be Sava. Fifteen after two. You have to unmute yourself. Okay. In case if you need more time, that's okay. We'll... Uh, no, sorry, it was me. I, I thought I was unmuted. It came back on. Savado Baje. Savado Baje. Savado Baje. Anita Ji, Professor Anita. So 315. Savatin Baje. Savatin Baje. Okay. Um, who else? Uh, Sunita ji, let's do this one. 4.15. Sava Chah Baje hai. Sava Chah. Sava Chah Baje hai. And then do, let's say, 12.15 also. Let's see who. Donna ji, 12.15. Um, Sava uh, Bara Baje hai. Sava Bada Baje And as you pointed out before, you know, you can definitely say Subah Ke or Do Peher Ke or Sham Ke or Raat Ke. Okay, so you can definitely use uh, the, the time of the day uh, in, in, in this as well and you can make it a little bit nicer that way. 
Any questions on this one so so far? So far, everyone is comfortable. This should be straightforward, right? No, no complication. Okay. Uh, we'll do case three, and uh, we'll start forming once we have this thing laid out. We'll you know we'll do uh, some little bit complicated sentence as well, as well. Okay. So after this, you know, you already have this, just like you have sava half. Half is uh, you know in in the time of generally half is called adha right adha adhi or adhe right but in the context of in in the context of time it's dead okay day dha okay and uh, the way you will pronounce it is a little bit tricky because you have both the dha the dha and the dha okay so it's basically uh, I'm going to write it in Devanagari first and then we'll do in 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 Hindi. So you have a day which is almost like a day in in English day. Okay. And the second you have is dh. Okay. Let's try pronouncing it day dh. It will be easier if you think of it as like a the as a day. Okay, David. Okay. And then dh. Okay. Now it is possible that you will say, Ashutosh, we don't call David the way you call David. We call it slightly differently. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, let's see. Who would like to practice? Uh, uh, Austin G, do you want to practice calling half as dead? Dead. Dead, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Andrea G. There is there. Dead, very good, very good, awesome. Do you, the second one you said it pretty like you know as a native speakers will say. Say one more time. Duh. Yeah. Duh. Very ah. good, right? Dead. Ah. Yeah. Duh. Very mm -hmm. good. Awesome. Dead. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone else would like to JDG? You want to try it out? Dead. Very good. Dead. Okay. So you are saying it right now separately, which is what I asked for. But as you guys. Say it together faster, it'll come across like dead. Okay. So the first one, JDG, because I have you on the on the conversation, how will you say if it is 130? Um Deda. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's basically uh de -da. I'm gonna write it like this, but uh, uh you know, think of it as like you know uh, the way I kind of split it out. Okay, ter baja hai. Okay, you don't say the x. You don't use x. Which one? For for one, you don't say x. You just say de da baja hai. That's right. You know, you will not say de, You know, you for one, you will not say you know eight here. You just say ter baja hai, which okay. implies one thirty. Okay. Well, okay. Now let's do this one also. Um, JDG. So data budget hey. So this is now it's basically um, uh, so so there is basically uh, so I want to do one more item here. So for so it's thirty is an interesting part basically. So for for one we said there now for in general basically when you have this one it's called dhai for. So for one and two, there is a special cases that I'll talk about for two also, but for rest of it, it's always dhai. Say one more time, JDG, dhai. Dhai. So you have a d with a and then e, dhai. Okay, dhai. Dhai. Um, okay. Um, okay. Now let's let's do. Sorry, uh, I think this is the special case I was talking about for two. Okay, so for rest of it, I'll come across uh, gradually, but for 130, it's dead baje hai. For 230, you know, it's... Uh, but what will you say? We'll talk about Sade later on, but like for this one, JDG, what will you say? For 230, it will be... Do die baje hai? So for this also, you don't use the word do, you will just say Dai baje hai. Dai baje hai. I'm gonna erase it because it unnecessarily confused me. Okay. So 
Just to recap, for case number three, if it is one thirty, you will say डेड बजा है. For two thirty, it's ढाई बजा, ढाई बजे है. Okay. Rest of it, just like you know, you for one fourth, you had सवा. Half, it's called साढ़े. साढ़े. Okay. So there are some vocabulary words that you know. Some of you are familiar. Some of you probably are heard. Hearing it, you know, first time, but so you will say sir with a, and then a day, sare, okay, sare, okay. So if it is so one thirty, you have to memorize it. You know, date baja hai. Two thirty also you have to memorize it, which is dhai baje hai, and then rest of it is you have to use this one, the word called sare. So if it is three thirty. What you will say is this part first, and it will become साढ़े तीन साढ़े तीन बजे हैं, okay? साढ़े तीन बजे हैं. If it is four thirty, if it is four thirty, you will say साढ़े चार बजे हैं, okay? If it is twelve thirty, if it is twelve thirty, then it's साढ़े बारह बजे हैं, ओके? वंस अगेन वन थर्टी टेढ़ बजा है, टू थर्टी ढाई बजे हैं, एंड देन देन इस जेनरिक पैटर्न विच इस थर्टी 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 एंड देन साढ़े तीन बजे हैं, साढ़े चार बजे हैं, साढ़े बारह बजे हैं, ओके? इफ इट इस इलेवन थर्टी हाउ विल यू सेड दैट शान हाउ आर यू डूइंग if it is eleven thirty of the evening or late night, how will you say that? Um, रात के um सारे ग्यारह बजे हैं. Very good, right? Amazing. And if it is um um like two thirty of night, it would be um रात के um ढाई बजे हैं. So you will say रात के ढाई बजे, ओके? Believe it or not, it's a it's a it's a it's a Hindi song basically. Or someone getting married, रात के ढाई बजे. So you can if you look it up on YouTube, you know Priyanka Chopra, like a former Miss World, she's in that song and she's like you know she's getting married in that song. So रात के ढाई बजे, ओके? This one, three thirty. How will you say that? One more time. Uh, still me. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Very good. Sorry, baje. Okay. Uh, again, like this is also believe it or not, it's a, it's a, it's a popular in the in the nineties. It used to be a very popular Hindi song, um, of of the uh, famous actor Amitabh Bachchan, right? So if you look it up, also you will say Amitabh Bachchan song where he is like you know, telling the actress that you know I'll wait for you. साढ़े तीन बजे बेसिकली राइट सो दोस आर द द टू गुड वंस इफ यू वांट टू सो होमवर्क एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू इज लाइक यू नो यू कैन लुक अप दिस टू सॉंग्स रात के ढाई बजे एंड साढ़े तीन बजे राइट एनी क्वेश्चंस ऑन दिस वन ऑन द द ढाई पार्ट या आई हैव क्वेश्चन आशु या फॉर वन थर्टी बिकॉज़ इट इज आई गेस टेक्निकली मोर देन वन would it be baje hai oh i see i see um so i mean i personally i would use it interchangeably but you know they some of us consider it as like you know singular so dead baja hai okay you will also see it so you can go either ways but if you're writing it in a formal way people would still use it as a singular um you know and that's that's why dead baja hai okay um but you know what on the other hand the the other question would be can i use sade ek and sade do for these two and answer is you will find native speakers using sade for these two as well sade ek baja hai or you know sade do baje hai there is nothing wrong in it you know people hearing it will understand it as well but you know colloquially it becomes sort of a common understanding that it's dead and high okay but back to your question yes you will 
even though it's technically more than one, you you still fit it into the singular category. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, now I'm gonna erase it now. Now it's basically case number four, which is 45 quarter. So now you have case number four, which is um, now three fourth. When you have a time of three fourth, three fourth, right? So or forty five, and in Hindi it's basically pawn a pawn. It's like just like you know you have like the the chess you have the the pawns, right? But slightly you have a you know more emphasis on the paw. So it's basically pawn a. Okay, pawn a. Okay, so three fourth is pawn a. So you have. Imagine you have 12, 45. In English, you have like quarter, quarter to, sorry, quarter, quarter to uh, one, right? And in Hindi, basically, it's just like this, but Sean, how will you say this one, 12, 45? Um, pone, uh, pone ek budget? Yeah. Yeah, I thought, you know, you'll get tricked as well, but good. So what you'll do is pawn a, you will not use this, it's quarter to one. So it's pawn a ek. Okay, pawn a ek. Or in this case, you will often omit ek and you will just say pawn baja hai. Which means it's quarter to one. Because you one, you don't really say it. It implies that pawn baja hai, that means it's quarter to one. Okay, pawn baja hai. This one can be tricky, so we'll practice a little bit more. Just like 1245, if you have 145. Andrej, what do you think? You will say this one. Pawn baje, pawn do baje hai. So for this one is pawn and so pawn a pawn a do baje hai. Right, pawn a do baje hai. Okay, pawn a do baje hai. If it is two forty five, it would be Rita ji. If it is two forty five, it would be ah uh, pawn eighteen baje hai. Pawn eighteen baje hai. Okay, let's practice a little bit more. Donna ji, if it is 445, it would be? Pone punch baje hai. Pone punch. And then you can keep on going. If it is 645, Tom? Pone che baje hai. So it's quarter to seven. So you will say pone. Oh, so it's not going to be K6, it's going to be 7. I don't remember 7, uh, Shiji. So 7 is Sa. Very good. So Pone? Pone Saat Baje hai. Pone Saat Baje Very good. Pone Saat Baje hai. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? You should remember all of this, like Sava, you know, uh, and then Sade and Pone. Okay, any questions, anyone? Yes, yeah, I have a question. Yes. Uh, in some of these you've written hey, and the other one you've written hey. So yeah. it should be, be all be hey, right? So when it is singular, you will say hey, for almost like all the cases, if it is around one o'clock, it's hey. When it is two, it's or more, it's hey. Does it make sense or still not clear? Um, yes. Feel free to, 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 to challenge, right? Basically, it's uh, when it is singular, ek baja hai, do, you know, or dead baja hai, you know, uh, whenever it is baja, basically, it's singular. Whenever it is baje, it's plural. Okay? So whenever it is baje, you will see the nasalized hai, basically, if that makes sense. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so, so far we've done like, you know, the, the, the time, which is the interval of like, you know, 15 minutes. What if it is not really 15 minutes and if it is like a 
is like you know uh, 110 or like you know, 240 or you know six uh, 620 right what do you do with that right so you know what you do in this case is like you know you split it out okay and you know you you the work that you have is baja you will put kar after that okay so you know what you do is like ek and then what is it second word you know is already 10 minute okay so what you do in this case is you will say ek baj kar ek baj kar 10 minute it's 10 minute past you know one okay so you will say baj kar or you will also hear baj ke okay ek baj kar 10 minute if somebody is asking you what time is it, you will say it's uh, 10 past 1, 8 baj kar 10 minute. 2.40 is 40 past um, 2, you will say 2 baj kar 40 minute. Okay, it's 20 past 6, you will say 6 baj kar 20 minute. Chair Bashkar, beast minute. Okay, chair Bashkar, beast minute. If it is 7.05, it would be Anita ji. Sat Bashkar, uh, punch minute. Sat Bashkar, punch minute. Okay, if it is like, you know, um, 12.55. Let's see, someone who's not tried before. 12.55. Linda ji? Um, <laughs> I would say 5 to 1, but I don't know how to say the 2. Yeah, I don't know how to say 55. <laughs> so we will practice that, right? You can say, so very good observation. You can, you, she's saying, I want to say it's 5 to, it's, you know, 5 to 1. Okay, it's uh, 5 minutes to 1 o'clock. Or you can say it's like 55 past 12. So 12, you know, is? Uh, bar, bara. Very good, right? You can say bara bachkar. And 55 is? Pachpan. Very good, pachpan. So you have a pachpan. Pach. So you say bara bachkar. Bara bachkar uh, pachpan uh, minute. Very good, right? Bara bachkar pachpan minute. Okay. Um, anyone, any questions before I move on to the other method, which is what Linda G just mentioned, like, you know, what if I want to say, uh, yeah, I have a, I have a question. Is yes. the car there related to the car thing that we learned before? Like when we were saying the jock card or pod card, having done something, uh, I mean, it is basically right. Bajna and Karna, right. But you know. Uh, yes, it is related to that, but it's like two, two, two are conjugated together. Bajkar, you know, um, it is related, right? So, okay, so it's like, like it would be uh, having wrong two plus 40 minutes. Something so, like I mean, that. that part is sort of like tricky. Like, how do you explain? Because it's like, you know, having, um, having this, basically the clock has struck two. And after that, it's 40 minutes. Right? Okay, makes, thank you. It, yeah, so if that makes any sense, having struck like, like so because traditionally the clock will be the, that thing, like the, the box where it will strike at every hour, right? So, you know, that's what it is. Having struck two times, it's 40 minutes, yeah? So now we'll do the, the other one, the other variation, which is like, you know, um, that Linda G mentioned. So if it is, let's say if it is, um, it's, it's five minutes. So, so let's say, imagine you have like, you know, 1255. So it's essentially in English, you would say it's five minutes to one, right? Uh, it's five minutes to one, right? So the formula here is X x bajne mein 
है एक्स बजने में एक्स इज द टाइम सो इफ इट इज वन ओ क्लॉक यू से एक बजने में एक बजने में पांच मिनट एक बजने में पांच मिनट है ओके यू कैन ऑल्टरनेटिवली ऑल्सो से एक बजने में पांच मिनट बाकी है बाकी है बाकी वॉट इज द वॉट इज इट मीन बाकी रिमाइंडर रेस्ट ऑफ या लेफ्ट और रिमाइंडर ओके लेफ्ट और रिमाइंडर सो यू से एक बजने में पांच मिनट बाकी है और इफ यू डोट वॉन्ट यूज बाकी इट ऑल्सो मीन द सेम थिंग एक बजने में पांच मिनट है बट द फॉर्मूला रियली इज एक्स बजने में एंड देन यू कैन पुट डी टी टाइम ओके एक्स बजने में सो इमेजिन इफ यू हैव टू फोर्टी ओके लिंडा जी हाउ विल यू से दैट फर्स्ट वन इज यू कैन से दो बजकर चालीस मिनट राइट बट सो हाउ विल यू से यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला तीन बजना में बीस मिनट है और बीस मिनट बाकी है तीन बजने में बीस मिनट बाकी है राइट नाउ लेट से यू हैव Three fifty, JDG. How will you say that? Three fifty. Try it out. Um, in baje me, this the baki hai. Kitne? No. तीन बजे में दस मिनट बाकी है सो वॉट वॉट मीन टेन मिनट्स टू फोर सो वन मोर टाइम देन ओके इट्स फोर चार बजे में दस मिनट बाकी है चार बजने में दस मिनट बाकी है राइट ऑसम बिफोर बारह बजने में दो मिनट है और बारह बजने में दो मिनट बाकी है राइट सो लेट्स से इफ अ शो इज स्टार्टिंग एंड एवरीवन इज डेस्परेटली वेटिंग फॉर द शो टू स्टार्ट एंड इट स्टार्ट्स एट ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक यू नो लाइक डोंट वरी वी स्टिल हैव टू मिनट्स सो बारह बजने में दो मिनट बाकी है राइट सो यू कैन क्विकली यूज द रेस्ट रूम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू और यू कैन क्विकली यू नो गेट सम पॉपकॉर्न और वॉट नॉट राइट आई मीन सो यू नो any question so far so far we have learned the just like different way of like you know saying the time yes nandini ji um does the time like bara that doesn't go into oblique it's not bare bajne mein no 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 it will not go into oblique is nandini it bara it will remain as it okay. yeah awesome now we'll do the the oblique case will come also we'll will cover that one all right so i'm going to move on so so far it's like you know you're not doing any post positions now we'll switch to some some interesting cases right so let's say you know you want to say i you know i've been working or i'm working since you know um since uh 3:30 or since 3 o'clock you know if you want to say that right so you you want to use some post positions right 
or let's say you have a case like from 430 or from 445 how do you say that so this case is like where you want to use post positions post positions with time okay um so you want to say ron has been working since 3 a.m in the morning okay since 3 a.m in the morning so 3 a.m you already know teen baje teen baje but because it's a post position you will say teen baje say okay teen baje say okay so if it is like ron is working ron kaam kar raha hai okay ron kaam kar raha hai his ron is working uh, now rati uh, sorry nandini ji you want to say ron has been working since 3 am in the morning it's 3 am in the morning how will you say that uh, has, has been working ron 3 baje se kaam kar raha hai very good no? and so yeah that's correct subah subah ke ha so ron subah ke 3 baje se kaam kar raha hai ron subah ke 3 baje se kaam kar raha hai okay ron subah ke 3 baje se kaam kar raha hai awesome so you see you 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 have to still use this time in different context one is like a simply telling and asking time but the second thing is like now you you have a situation and you want to use it along with post position and along with like your to what you've learned okay ron subah ke 3 baje se kaam kar raha hai okay now you want to say um i i've been i've been um sim something similar let's say you you change the sentence instead of ron you know uh you can change it to a different sort of subject instead of calm you can use calm karna you can use something some other verb okay um uh, let's see you can make changes olina ji how are you doing if it is too late doing good doing good can, can you make something similar but change the subject change the verb and um you know use mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And say I've been practicing. I've been practicing since um, six p.m. in the evening. How about that? Me, che baje raat ke che baje se kindi pa rahi ho. So me sham ke me sham ke che baje se. Hindi Pad Rahi Hu Okay Right Mai Shaam Ke Chhe Baje Se Hindi Pad Rahi Hu Right uh, Like typically like you know as a parent we complain to our kids like you know Itti Deh Se Movie Dekh Raha Hai right? Like I often will tell my son like you know, even though they don't watch too much but even if they watch a little bit I will complain like you know You know so you know so like let's say instead of this you say like you've been watching it for two hours now like you know how will you say that right sharmila ji i know you are sick you're recovering but i'm gonna still you know if you're comfortable right aap pehle to gante se tv dekh raha hai very good right so i'm gonna sell my son adi to to do gante se दो घंटे से टीवी देख रहा है, राइट? दो घंटे से टीवी देख रहा है, एंड यू कैन से आवर इज घंटा, बट लाइक विद द पोस्ट पोजीशन इट बिकम्स ऑब्लिक, दो घंटे से टीवी देख रहा है, ओके? आई विल मूव ऑन, सो इट्स बेसिकली सिंस, एंड देन नेक्स्ट वन आई हैव इट स्टक Okay, second one I have is basically uh, till. So, so far we have done post position say, which is since. And the second one we have is uh, tuck. Tuck. 
is till okay for example the movie will go on till till uh, 11 pm okay so it becomes 11 baje tak okay 11 baje tak okay 11 baje tak um 5 baje 5 baje tak okay um till okay I have to wait till 5 p.m. 5 baje tak wait karna padega. Okay, I have to wait till 5 p.m. Okay, 5 baje tak wait karna padega. The train will arrive by 3 p.m. Okay, the train will arrive by 3 p.m. Train 3 baje tak aayegi. Okay, um, run in work till 11 p.m. All those cases still. Okay. Ron. Okay. I'm going to say 10. Ron. He worked till 10 p.m. Ron ne 10 baje tak kaam kiya. Okay. Don't worry about the verb conjugation because I'm trying different different grammatical structures there. But focus on the tak part. Okay. Uh, for simpler sentences. Um, for simpler sentences, you can just like, you know, 11 baje tak, 5 baje tak, you practice that right now. Um, you can also combine both of them. So, X baje se, X baje tak. Okay. So, typically, you know, if somebody asks you like from what time till what time do you work? So, typically you will say from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Right? That's what you will typically say. So Elizabeth G, let's say you have to say, I work from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. You just have to use this formula. Um, um, me, can, Kati, um, very good. Mai kaam karti hu. Very good. Kaam karti hu. Um, don't remember nine. Don't remember five. Yeah. So number nine is no, and number five is punch. No. Punch. Uh. So may may kaam karti hu. Um. Punch. Badge say no. Okay. Tak. The other, other way around. Nine is no. No. And five. Hmm? Okay. Um. So me kam karti hun. Uh. No. Badge say punch tak. Punch badge tak. There you go. Awesome. Right. <laughs> awesome. Great. So, I will be working from 9 to 5 to work from 9 to 5 to work from 9 to 5 to work you want to say the movie will go on from 12 to, let's say you went to watch a big Indian movie, it takes 3 hours, right? So, the movie will go from 12 to 3. Uh, film. Um, bara baje se teen baje tak um ah uh, ah uh, will you say uh, ana or ah uh, chal ah uh, chalungi chalegi film is family, chalegi right? chalegi yeah that would be I would I go right <laughs> chalegi so film bara baje se teen baje tak chalegi are you sure you want to go there right I mean so you can say <laughs> right. right? Uh -huh. So this one can be tricky, but so just remember like X, X baje se, se Y baje tak. Anyone else want to try any, any sentences for this? I may have missed some of you, but you know, if anyone is interested, you can, if you're shy, you can post it on the Zoom chat. If you want to unmute yourself, definitely try it out. Can I try one, Asha? Yes, please. please. Um... Me, uh, 
रात के ग्यारह बजे से सुबह के छ बजे तक and i'm not sure if i want to say sota or soti he here so, yeah if you're saying it for yourself soti hu right right so if you're saying it for yourself it's soti hu if you're saying it for somebody else you know let's say you're talking about like ron in this case so ron raat ke 11 baje se 3 baje tak aur subah ke you know 5 baje tak sota hai yeah if i'm saying it in past tense if i was saying i was मैं सोई ओके बिकॉज सोना इज इन इन ट्रांजिटिव वर्ल्ड राइट सो देर इज नो ने राइट सो सो मैं रात के ग्यारह बजे से यू नो पांच बजे तक सोई एंड इफ इट इज अस्कुल लाइक रॉन सोया गुड गुड एनी थिंग एनी वन एल्स वुड लाइक टू ट्राई या कैन आई ट्राई मैं पांच बजे से छह बजे तक जिम जाता हूँ मैं दस बजे से ग्यारह बजे तक कपड़े दो दो तीती वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अमेजिंग एनी वन एल्स दिस इज गुड राइट तो um, मैं एक बजा से दो बजे तक हिंदी हिंदी पढ़ती हूँ right? मैं एक बजे से दो बजे तक हिंदी पढ़ती हूँ अमेजिंग एक बजे बट आई थॉट वॉज एक बजा इट्स ओके यू कैन से दैट एक सो बिकॉज देर इज अ से पोस्ट पोजिशन इट बिकम्स यू नो बजा बिकम बजे ओके But amazing. Anyone else? So, Disha ji, can I yes. ask a question? Yes, please. Instead of being definite, suppose you want to say approximately. Yeah. What do you think? You from your current vocabulary, what do you think? Anyone else? Before I. करीब करीब विच इज लाइक अबाउट टू टाइम्स करीब करीब or one time some people will use it once some will use twice but lagbhag is very common you can say mai lagbhag mai lagbhag 2 baje aapke ghar pahunch jaunga i'll reach about around 2 to your to your house okay train lagbhag 10 minute mein aayegi the train will arrive in about in about you know 10 minutes okay uh, so you can use lagbhag or you can say kareeb You know, train or plane, करीब दस मिनट में आएगा. The plane will will come in about ten minutes. Yeah. Who hasn't had a chance to try it out? I don't want to put on spot again. Ashish, yes please. So, Rose, मैं um, सा सारे आठ बजे सुबह सारे आठ बजे से दोपहर को ढाई बजे तक काम पर जाती हूँ सो नाउ आई हैव इज सम मोर आई मीन वी हैव टाइम लेफ्ट फोर मिनट्स सो वॉट आई हैव इज लिल बिट मोर चैलेंजिंग वंस सो आई एम शेयर माई स्क्रीन एंड दीज आर सॉर्ट ऑफ न्यूज आर्टिकल्स दैट आई कैन ऑफ पिक डिट अप नॉट इन डिटेल बट जस्ट दी हेडलाइन सो आई एम गोन शेयर माई स्क्रीन आई एम गोन हैव यू गैज रीड इट एंड देन यू नो I'm going to have you guys read it and try to dissect it for me. Okay? Um let's see who would read the first news. These are headlines. These are a little bit complicated because when you're reading the news headlines they're not like simple. So if they intimidate you just read it twice. Okay? 
लेट्स सी शर्मिला जी यू डू द फर्स्ट वन शाम छह बजे के मुख्य समाचार सॉरी प्रेजेंटेशन या समाचार इज न्यूज सो आई एम गोना डाइसेक्टेड फॉर एवरी वन जस्ट लाइक शर्मिला जी मैं शाम इज इवनिंग छ इज सिक्स ओ क्लॉक छ बजे मुख्य समाचार द मेन न्यूज और द बुलेटिन द न्यूज बुलेटिन ऑफ ऑफ सिक्स ओ क्लॉक ओके शाम छ बजे के मुख्य समाचार एनी क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस वन एनी वन jdg is it clear this one the first one yes yeah awesome let's do the second one anita ji let's you do it this one okay um ravivar ko subah che baje se ratri 11 baje tak voting hogi okay it should be simple because we just did this one what do you think it means um there will uh, vok- voting is voting will last from 6 am until 11 pm okay very on good. sunday on sunday awesome so subah 6 baje se ratri some people like formal you know you typically will say raat but ratri is a little bit more formal derived from sanskrit ratri 11 baje tak voting hogi any questions on this one anyone hopefully simple right okay the last one is slightly tricky let's see veena ji let why don't you do it the last one uh raat 11 baje tak pahari vahano ke pravesh par rok okay it's very complicated one but yeah. which are the, what are what is the difficult words for you in this one uh vahano okay vahan let's see vahan Elia, what is vahan? Vehicle, no. Vehicle, very good. Vehicle, very good. Vehicle, right? So vahan is a vehicle, and plural of that in oblique case is vahano. Okay, and then what other words? What is bahari vahan? Don't know. Okay, what is bahar? Outside. Behind? Outside, 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 and then bahari vahan becomes outside vehicles. Outside vehicles, very good, right? So let's say you live in an apartment complex, and everybody has an assigned parking A spot. Parking spot, okay. Yeah. So let's say in that in that context, you have in your apartment complex, which is a gated community. they have a board written which is this raat 11 baje tak you know or something like that right bahari vahano ke pravesh par rok he can only stay at the parking spot until 11 o'clock so uh, basically uh, so, so so bahari vahan is clear right bahar is external right vehicle people or vehicle which are not from this area or vicinity okay so I'll try. outside vehicles are not um are prevented pravesh entry so that, um entry of outside vehicles are prevented from at night from 11 o'clock till 11 until 11 o'clock yeah. until 11 yeah. they so essentially so in that, the like, others like visitors ashuji like visitors people who visit in yeah that is correct so visitors they cannot come till 11 they can come after 11 which is a weird example but yes right but that's what they are trying to say so they cannot come till 11 the external vehicle cannot come till 11 pm 
रात 11 बजे तक टिल 11 पीएम बाहरी वाहनों विच इज द व्हीकल फ्रॉम आउटसाइड के प्रवेश एडमिशन वाहन का प्रवेश एडमिशन ऑफ ए व्हीकल ओके वाहनों के प्रवेश एडमिशन ऑफ व्हीकल्स पर रोक ओके ऑन देम प्रोहिबिशन प्रोहिबिशन ऑन द व्हीकल फ्रॉम आउटसाइड और व्हीकल फ्रॉम आउटसाइड आर प्रोहिबिटेड टिल 11 pm they can come afterwards okay so it's a little bit tricky if you just google it as it is then you will get the exact news article to talk which talks about more but um there are many words here and a little bit more formal as well um ashuji um ek minute um i was thinking if you say uh, 11 baje tak mm -hmm. that they only have until 11 The admission will stop at eleven. Why not? Why not? Um, Yaraha Baje say. I think that's what they, that's what the news article should say, right? Yara, that's what the news article say because typically you don't want vehicle after this eleven p.m. to be admitted, right? But leave aside that particular. Let let's say you don't want the vehicles after eleven p.m. Right? That's when. That's what you will say. Yaraha Baje say. Bahari vahanon ke pravesh par ro. Okay. but because this particular i don't know the details of the article but if you were to translate this it will be basically like you know um 11 baje tak bahari vahano ke pravesh par rok yeah maybe maybe the alternative scenario is there is some there is some construction going on like or some some special ceremony going on like till 10:30 around that time so they are like okay you cannot come before that you can come after that yeah um can i can i ask you a question yes please so if you if you just take the words pravesh par rok rok uh -huh. means stop isn't it in hindi that's right that's right so so pravesh par rok means entry or admission stop their admission is stopped or prohibition Pro prohibition on the entry or they are not permitted rokna okay. is, if it is a verb it is rokna you know if it is rok it's basically prohibition still not clear yes yes yeah i think the ban on entry ban yeah banning ban ban that is right banning they're banned yeah so we as anyone else we're slightly over time so for folks who watch live on facebook thank you so much so i'm going to stop the broadcast and i'll take remaining question from the folks you know who are uh, joined the zoom session um